what you're about to hear is a hundred percent vocals. A hundred percent vocals. Hi, welcome to my full bar mechanism project. This is my presentation. To construct my mechanism, I have used the set Meccano set. For my mechanism, I have constructed a wind pump. A wind pump that converts rotational motion from the air into translational motion to the full bar mechanism, i.e. the wind pump. First and foremost, in my presentation, I will give you a brief history of the wind pump and then describing explicitly its mechanical aspects. Here we go. Wind pumps were predecessed by its ancient mother, the windmill. Windmills were first invented in the 9th century in the Middle East, which later spread to India and the Far East. During the Middle Ages, windmills were extensively used in Europe particularly in Great Britain and the Netherlands. Later, and, and years later, came the revolution, a revolution that changed wind into rotation and changed rotation into translational motion. It was a change from the windmill to the wind pump. In 1854, a man that went by the name Daniel Halliday invented the world's first ever wind pump. Daniel Halliday's friend, John Burnham, who repaired broken pumps, suggested the idea of self-regulating windmills to pump water, which was quickly developed by Daniel. His windmill, his windmill had a self-governing device. This means that it automatically turned to face the direction of wind, and that it automatically controlled its own speed. Welcome to my mechanical presentation of my four bar mechanism, the wind pump. First and foremost, let's identify the number of links. Here we have link number one, which is connected to the rotation, to rotational motion, which comes from the turbine at the rear. Link number one is, which is the crank, the shortest, the shortest link, is connected to link number two, and link number two is connected to a Jo movable joint which has a path through link 4 so the joint is considered as a link itself here as you can see here we have a string this string provides a path where link 3 can go up and down now here we have four num we have four links let's identify the number of Revolute pairs. Here we have one, two, three, and four. And as we know, the number of degrees of freedom in this mechanism is one. Now let's identify the number of let's identify the angles. Here we have theta one, theta one here, which has a rotation a, a rotation of a hundred three hundred and sixty degrees. And here we have theta 2, which rotates, which, which varies with respect to R4. In our mechanism, there are two components which vary. The first is theta 2, and the second is R3. Um, and that is my mechanical presentation for my full bar mechanism. Um, for further details of analytical results, equations and graphs will be present in my report. Thank you very much.
ladies and gentlemen, what you're about to hear is a hundred percent vocals. A hundred percent vocals. <laughs>